Constructivist epistemology is a branch in philosophy of science maintaining that scientific knowledge is constructed by the scientific community, who seek to measure and construct models of the natural world. Natural science therefore consists of mental constructs that aim to explain sensory experience and measurements. According to constructivists, the world is independent of human minds, but knowledge of the world is always a human and social construction. Constructivism opposes the philosophy of objectivism, embracing the belief that a human can come to know the truth about the natural world not mediated by scientific approximations with different degrees of validity and accuracy. According to constructivists there is no single valid methodology in science, but rather a diversity of useful methods. Topic. Origin of the term The term originates from psychology, education, and social constructivism. The expression, constructivist epistemology, was first used by Jean Piaget, 1967, with plural form in the famous article from the Encyclopédie de la Pléiade, Logic et connaissance scientifique or Logic and Scientific Knowledge, an important text for epistemology. He refers directly to the mathematician Brouwer and his radical constructivism. The terms constructionism and constructivism are often, but should not be, used interchangeably. Constructionism is an approach to learning that was developed by Papert. The approach was greatly influenced by his work with Piaget, but it is very different. Constructionism involves the creation of a product to show learning. It is believed by constructivists that representations of physical and biological reality, including race, sexuality, and gender, as well as tables, chairs and atoms are socially constructed. Marx was among the first to suggest such an ambitious expansion of the power of ideas to inform the material realities of people's lives. History Constructivism stems from a number of philosophies. For instance, early development can be attributed to the thought of Greek philosophers such as Heraclitus everything flows, nothing stands still, Protagoras man is the measure of all things. Protagoras is clearly represented by Plato and hence the tradition as a relativist. The Peronist skeptics have also been so interpreted, although this is more contentious. Following the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, with the phenomenology and the event, Kant gives a decisive contradiction to Cartesian's epistemology that has grown since Descartes, despite Giambattista Vico calling in Scienza Nuova, new science, in 1725 that, the norm of the truth is to have made it. The Enlightenment's claim of the universality of reason as the only true source of knowledge generated a romantic reaction involving an emphasis on the separate natures of races, species, sexes and types of human. Gaston Bachelard, who is known for his physics psychoanalysis and the definition of an epistemologic obstacle that can disturb a changing of scientific paradigm as the one that occurred between classical mechanics and Einstein's relativism, opens the teleological way with the meditation on the object takes the form of the project. In the following famous saying, he insists that the ways in which questions are posed determines the trajectory of scientific movement, before summarizing, nothing is given, all is constructed. And, irrespective of what one might assume, in the life of a science, problems do not arise by themselves. It is precisely this that marks out a problem as being of the true scientific spirit, all knowledge is in response to a question. If there were no question, there would be no scientific knowledge. Nothing proceeds from itself. Nothing is given. All is constructed. Gaston Bachelard, La Formation de l'Esprit Scientifique, 1934. While quantum mechanics is starting to grow, Gaston Bachelard makes a call for a new science in La Nouvelle Esprit Scientifique, the new scientific spirit. Paul Valéry, French poet, 20th century, reminds us of the importance of representations and action. We have always sought explanations when it was only representations that we could seek to invent. My hand feels touched as well as it touches, reality says this, and nothing more." This link with action, which could be called a philosophy of action, was well represented by Spanish poet Antonio Machado, Caminante, No hay camino, say hay's camino al andar. 
Ludwig Fleck establishes scientific constructivism by introducing the notions of thought collective and thought style through which the evolution of science is much more understandable, because the research objects can be described in terms of the assumptions thought style that are shared for practical but also inherently social reasons, or just because any thought collective tends to preserve itself. These notions have been drawn upon by Thomas Kuhn. Norbert Wiener gives another defense of teleology in 1943 Behavior, Intention and Teleology and is one of the creators of cybernetics. Jean Piaget, after the creation in 1955 of the International Center for Genetic Epistemology in Geneva, first uses the expression, constructivist epistemologies, see above. According to Ernst von Glasersfeld, Jean Piaget is the great pioneer of the constructivist theory of knowing. In an exposition of constructivism, Why Some Like It Radical, 1990, and The Most Prolific Constructivist in Our Century, in Aspects of Radical Constructivism, 1996. J. L. Austin is associated with the view that speech is not only passively describing a given reality, but it can change the social reality to which it is applied through speech acts. Herbert A. Simon called the sciences of the artificial. These new sciences cybernetics, cognitive sciences, decision and organization sciences that, because of the abstraction of their object information, communication, decision, cannot match with the classical epistemology and its experimental method and refutability. Gregory Battison and his book Steps to an Ecology of Mind 1972. George Kelly psychologist and his book The Psychology of Personal Constructs 1955. Heinz von Forster, invited by Jean Piaget, presented Objects, Tokens for Eigen Behaviors in 1976 in Geneva at a Genetic Epistemology Symposium, a text that would become a reference for constructivist epistemology. Paul Watzlawick, who supervised in 1984 the publication of Invented Reality, How Do We Know What We Believe We Know? Contributions to Constructivism. Ernst von Glasersfeld, who has promoted since the end of the 70s radical constructivism see below. Edgar Morin and his book La Method 1977-2004, six volumes. Miora Mugor Schachter who is also a quantum mechanics specialist. Jean-Louis Lemoyne for his encyclopedic work on constructivist epistemology and his general systems theory see Lemoyne's Defense of Constructivism by Ernst von Glasersfeld. Nicholas Luhmann who developed «operative constructivism» in the course of developing his theory of autopoetic social systems, drawing on the works of among others, Bachelard, Valéry, Battison, von Forster, von Glasersfeld and Morin. <laughs> constructivism and sciences <laughs> Social constructivism in sociology One version of social constructivism contends that categories of knowledge and reality are actively created by social relationships and interactions. These interactions also alter the way in which scientific episteme is organized. Social activity presupposes human beings inhabiting shared forms of life, and in the case of social construction, utilizing semiotic resources meaning making and signifying with reference to social structures and institutions. Several traditions use the term social constructivism, psychology after Lev Vygotsky, sociology after Peter Berger and Thomas Luckman, themselves influenced by Alfred Schutz, sociology of knowledge David Bloor, sociology of mathematics Sal Restivo, philosophy of mathematics Paul Ernest. Ludwig Wittgenstein's later philosophy can be seen as a foundation for social constructivism, with its key theoretical concepts of language games embedded in forms of life. Topic. Constructivism in philosophy of science Thomas Kuhn argued that changes in scientists' views of reality not only contain subjective elements, but result from group dynamics revolutions in scientific practice and changes in paradigms. As an example, Kuhn suggested that the Sun-centric Copernican revolution replaced the Earth-centric views of Ptolemy not because of empirical failures, but because of a new paradigm that exerted control over what scientists felt to be the more fruitful way to pursue their goals. 
but paradigm debates are not really about relative problem-solving ability, though for good reasons they are usually couched in those terms. Instead, the issue is which paradigm should in future guide research on problems many of which neither competitor can yet claim to resolve completely. A decision between alternate ways of practicing science is called for, and in the circumstances that decision must be based less on past achievement than on future promise. A decision of that kind can only be made on faith. The view of reality as accessible only through models was called model-dependent realism by Stephen Hawking and Leonard Mladenow. While not rejecting an independent reality, model-dependent realism says that we can know only an approximation of it provided by the intermediary of models. These models evolve over time as guided by scientific inspiration and experiment. In the field of the social sciences, constructivism as an epistemology urges that researchers reflect upon the paradigms that may be underpinning their research, and in the light of this that they become more open to consider other ways of interpreting any results of the research. Furthermore, the focus is on presenting results as negotiable constructs rather than as models that aim to represent social realities more or less accurately. Norma Rahm in her book Accountability in Social Research 2001 argues that social researchers can earn trust from participants and wider audiences insofar as they adopt this orientation and invite inputs from others regarding their inquiry practices and the results thereof. Topic: <laughs> Constructivism and Psychology. In psychology, constructivism refers to many schools of thought that, though extraordinarily different in their techniques applied in fields such as education and psychotherapy, are all connected by a common critique of previous standard approaches, and by shared assumptions about the active constructive nature of human knowledge. In particular, the critique is aimed at the associationist postulate of empiricism by which the mind is conceived as a passive system that gathers its contents from its environment and, through the act of knowing, produces a copy of the order of reality." In contrast, constructivism is an epistemological premise grounded on the assertion that, in the act of knowing, it is the human mind that actively gives meaning and order to that reality to which it is responding. The constructivist psychologies theorize about and investigate how human beings create systems for meaningfully understanding their worlds and experiences. Topic: Constructivism and Education. Joe L. Kinchelow has published numerous social and educational books on critical constructivism 2001, 2005, 2008, a version of constructivist epistemology that places emphasis on the exaggerated influence of political and cultural power in the construction of knowledge, consciousness, and views of reality. In the contemporary mediated electronic era, Kinchelow argues, dominant modes of power have never exerted such influence on human affairs. Coming from a critical pedagogical perspective, Kinchelow argues that understanding a critical constructivist epistemology is central to becoming an educated person and to the institution of just social change. Kinchelow's characteristics of critical constructivism Knowledge is socially constructed, world and information co-construct one another Consciousness is a social construction Political struggles, power plays an exaggerated role in the production of knowledge and consciousness the necessity of understanding consciousness, even though it does not lend itself to traditional reductionistic modes of measurability. The importance of uniting logic and emotion in the process of knowledge and producing knowledge. The inseparability of the knower and the known. The centrality of the perspectives of oppressed peoples. The value of the insights of those who have suffered as the result of existing social arrangements. The existence of multiple realities, making sense of a world far more complex than we originally imagined Becoming humble knowledge workers, understanding our location in the tangled web of reality Standpoint epistemology, locating ourselves in the web of reality, we are better equipped to produce our own knowledges Constructing practical knowledge for critical social action Complexity, overcoming reductionism Knowledge is always entrenched in a larger process the centrality of interpretation, critical hermeneutics The new frontier of classroom knowledge, personal experiences intersecting with pluriversal information Constructing new ways of being human, critical ontology 
Topic: Constructivism and Postmodernism. For some social constructionism has been described as a source of the postmodern movement, and has been influential in the field of cultural studies. Some have gone so far as to attribute the rise of cultural studies the cultural turn to social constructionism. From a realist's point of view, both postmodernism and constructivism can be interpreted as relativist theories. Topic. Constructivist trends Topic. Cultural constructivism Cultural constructivism asserts that knowledge and reality are a product of their cultural context, meaning that two independent cultures will likely form different observational methodologies. Topic. Radical constructivism Ernst von Glasersfeld was a prominent proponent of radical constructivism. This claims that knowledge is not a commodity which is transported from one mind into another. Rather, it is up to the individual to link up specific interpretations of experiences and ideas with their own reference of what is possible and viable. That is, the process of constructing knowledge, of understanding, is dependent on the individual's subjective interpretation of their active experience, not what actually occurs. Understanding and acting are seen by radical constructivists not as dualistic processes, but circularly conjoined. Constructivist Foundations is a free online journal publishing peer-reviewed articles on radical constructivism by researchers from multiple domains. Topic. Relational constructivism Relational constructivism can be perceived as a relational consequence of the radical constructivism. In contrary to social constructivism, it picks up the epistemological threads and maintains the radical constructivist idea that humans cannot overcome their limited conditions of reception i.e. self-referentially operating cognition. Therefore, humans are not able to come to objective conclusions about the world. In spite of the subjectivity of human constructions of reality, relational constructivism focuses on the relational conditions applying to human perceptional processes. Bjorn Krauss puts it in a nutshell, It is substantial for relational constructivism that it basically originates from an epistemological point of view, thus from the subject and its construction processes. Coming from this perspective it then focuses on the not only social, but also material relations under which these cognitive construction processes are performed. Consequently, it's not only about social construction processes, but about cognitive construction processes performed under certain relational conditions. Topic. Critical constructivism A series of articles published in the journal Critical Inquiry 1991 served as a manifesto for the movement of critical constructivism in various disciplines, including the natural sciences. Not only truth and reality, but also evidence, document, experience, fact, proof, and other central categories of empirical research in physics, biology, statistics, history, law, etc. reveal their contingent character as a social and ideological construction. Thus, a realist or rationalist interpretation is subjected to criticism. Kinchelow's political and pedagogical notion above has emerged as a central articulation of the concept. While recognizing the constructedness of reality, many representatives of this critical paradigm deny philosophy the task of the creative construction of reality. They eagerly criticize realistic judgments, but they do not move beyond analytic procedures based on subtle tautologies. They thus remain in the critical paradigm and consider it to be a standard of scientific philosophy per se. Topic. Genetic epistemology James Mark Baldwin invented this expression, which was later popularized by Jean Piaget. From 1955 to 1980, Piaget was director of the International Center for Genetic Epistemology in Geneva. Topic. Quotations Verum esse ipsum factum, Giambattista Vico. The norm of the truth is to have made it. Or the true is precisely what is made. 
Verum et factum convertuntur, Giambattista Vico, the true and the made are convertible, et, qua con en dice, dans la vie scientifique, les problemes ne se passent pas do memes. Se préciament ce sens du problème qui donne la marque du véritable esprit scientifique. Pour un esprit scientifique, tout connaissance est une réponse à une question. S'il n'y a pas eu de question, il n'est pas et y avoir de connaissance scientifique. Rien n'est va de soi. Rien n'est de ne. Tout est construit, Gaston Bachelard in La formation de l'esprit scientifique. 1934. And, irrespective of what one might assume, in the sciences, problems do not arise by themselves. It is, precisely, because all problems are posed that they embody the scientific spirit. If there were no question, there would be no scientific knowledge. Nothing proceeds from itself. Nothing is given. All is constructed. On a toujours cherche des explications quant que te des représentations con pave Suleiman essayer d'inventor, Paul Valéry. We have always sought explanations when it was only representations that we could seek to invent. Ma main se sent touche a si bien quel touche, rail ver dire cela, et rien de plus, Paul Valéry. My hand feels touched as well as it touches, real means this, and nothing more. Intelligence organizes the world by organizing itself, Jean Piaget and La construction du rail chez l'enfant. 1937. Topic. Criticisms Numerous criticisms have been leveled at constructivist epistemology. The most common one is that it either explicitly advocates or implicitly reduces to relativism. This is because it takes the concept of truth to be a socially constructed and thereby socially relative one. This leads to the charge of self-refutation, if what is to be regarded as true is relative to a particular social formation, then this very conception of truth must itself be only regarded as being true in this society. In another social formation, it may well be false. If so, then social constructivism itself would be false in that social formation. Further, one could then say that social constructivism could be both true and false simultaneously. Another criticism of constructivism is that it holds that the concepts of two different social formations be entirely different and incommensurate. This being the case, it is impossible to make comparative judgments about statements made according to each worldview. This is because the criteria of judgment will themselves have to be based on some worldview or other. If this is the case, then it brings into question how communication between them about the truth or falsity of any given statement could be established. Social constructivists often argue that constructivism is liberating because it either one, enables oppressed groups to reconstruct the world in accordance with their own interests rather than according to the interests of dominant groups in society, or two, compels people to respect the alternative worldviews of oppressed groups because there is no way of judging them to be inferior to dominant worldviews. As the Wittgensteinian philosopher Gavin Kitching argues, however, constructivists usually implicitly presuppose a deterministic view of language which severely constrains the minds and use of words by members of societies. They are not just constructed by language on this view, but are literally determined by it. Kitching notes the contradiction here somehow, the advocate of constructivism is not similarly constrained. While other individuals are controlled by the dominant concepts of society, the advocate of constructivism can transcend these concepts and see through them. Topic see also Consensus Reality Constructivism in International Relations Map Territory Relation Metacognition Personal Construct Psychology Topic References Topic Further reading DeWitt, M. 1997. Realism and Truth, Princeton University Press. Gillette, E. 1998. Relativism and the Social Constructivist Paradigm, Philosophy, Psychiatry, and Psychology, Volume 5, No. 1, pp. 37-48 Joe L. Kinchelow 2001. Getting Beyond the Facts, Teaching Social Studies, Social Science in the 21st Century, N.Y., Peter Lang. Joe L. Kinchelow 2005. Critical Constructivism Primer, N.Y., Peter Lang. Joe L. Kinchelow 2008. Knowledge and Critical Pedagogy, Dordrecht, The Netherlands, Springer. Kitching, G. 2008. The Trouble with Theory, The Educational Costs of Postmodernism, Penn State University Press. 
Friedrich Kretakwil, Constructivism, What It Is Not and How It Matters, in Donatella della Porta and Michael Keating eds. 2008, Approaches and Methodologies in the Social Sciences, A Pluralist Perspective, Cambridge University Press, 80-98. Mariani Squire, E. 1999. Social Constructivism, A Flawed Debate Over Conceptual Foundations, Capitalism, Nature, Socialism, Vol. 10, No. 4, pp. 97-125 Matthews, M. R. Ed. 1998. Constructivism in Science Education, A Philosophical Examination, Kluwer Academic Publishers. Edgar Morin 1986, La Methode, Tome 3, La Connaissance de la Connaissance. Nola, R. 1997. Constructivism in Science and in Science Education, A Philosophical Critique, Science and Education, Vol. 6, No. 1-2, pp. 55-83. Jean Piaget 1967. Logic et connaissance scientifique, Encyclopédie de la Pléiade. Herbert A. Simon 1969. The Sciences of the Artificial, 3rd edition MIT Press 1996. Slezik, p. 2000. A Critique of Radical Social Constructivism, in D.C. Phillips, ed. 2000, Constructivism in Education, Opinions and Second Opinions on Controversial Issues, The University of Chicago Press. Suchting, W.A. 1992. Constructivism Deconstructed, Science and Education, Vol. 1, No. 3, pp. 223-254 Paul Watzlawick 1984. Invented Reality, How Do We Know What We Believe We Know, Contributions to Constructivism, W. W. Norton. Ernst von Glasersfeld 1987. The Construction of Knowledge, Contributions to Conceptual Semantics. Ernst von Glasersfeld 1995. Radical Constructivism, A Way of Knowing and Learning. Tom Rockmore 2008. On Constructivist Epistemology. Rom, NRA 2001. Accountability in Social Research, Dordrecht, The Netherlands, Springer, https colon slash slash www.springer.com, Social Plus Sciences, Book, 978-0-306-46564-2 Topic. External links Journal of Constructivist Psychology Radical Constructivism Constructivist Foundations